we took a little longer there with the song because we are still a little scattered from doing the dead. It's going to take me maybe like a whole day to get it together, but whatever. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're carrying on with the marathon. Every time I do a download, I'm going to try to do two, two, two R. Kelly videos, two R. Kelly videos. And in the plates. Oh, I'm just going to shake them all because I'll get a different vibe. In this plate, I am going to be doing R. Kelly and Lisa Van Allen. Robert. Lisa. Lisa. This is a woman who can tell a lie and it can sound so truthful, it's not even funny. <laughs> That's because in the lie, there is some truth. So when you are sitting across Lisa Van Allen, you really have to use your literature. You know your literature skills when you, when you learned English literature. You have to sit across from her and you have to use your English literature skills to split the lie from the truth, the lie from the truth. This is also the woman who can lead us to one of the big kahunas who is trying to take Robert Kelly down because she has a child with him. She left Robert Kelly at one time to be with that one and he turned out to be worse than Robert and she ran back to Robert with a child. So this is also the woman who can take us to the other guy, the baby daddy, whom she lies about. She says to him, this other guy is the baby daddy, but this other guy whom she points at and she uses as the baby daddy is not actually the baby daddy. The baby daddy is one of those big kahunas that are going after R. Kelly, a member of the of their sexual shenanigans ring. Lisa Van Allen is, is very beautiful, apparently, according to the shells. So she thinks she's very beautiful. She says, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful. She's, she's very beautiful. And she's very adventurous sexually. And she was a heavy-duty drug user who isn't anymore. She's extremely intelligent. Of, of all the women I've put in the plate with Robert Kelly, Lisa Van Allen really has a big brain. The others are, the others are cunning. She's not cunning, actually. She's someone you would like. She's extremely likable for me. Her soul is extremely likable. She's very, very intelligent, extremely so. Her intelligence matched uh, Robert's, and she, she is very analytical, and she, she sees things, you know? She isn't a gold digger. She's just a girl who found herself in a situation where she shouldn't be. Like, okay, like I say to the to, to the tourists of our channel, you're just touring, leave. She was just touring uh, R. Kelly's life and she got stuck in it. And then when she thought she had escaped R. Kelly, she, she, and she went to his friend, she was now in deep doo-doo. So the touring had become torture. And then she finally got herself out of the tour. She is a true survivor. I'm so surprised at that because I was expecting something else. So we're going to take the Robert of today. Robert of today is very, is much healthier than last week when I did him. See, I'm going to be giving you health updates. <laughs> or oh, Robert Kelly. Do you know what they say? They say that if a witch doctor talks about someone too much or whatever, I am only seven people away from whoever I am talking about. Seven people away from whoever I am talking about. In the times I have started, since the time I have started the, the Robert Kelly Marathon to now, I have had one ex-girlfriend, one actual girlfriend, one wannabe girlfriend contacting me. Three. I'm seven people away from this individual, right? Three. Four more people to come. So one thing I don't want is to go, is to finish the list of four people, right? I, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. 
because I should be another story. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can use a condom. <laughs> okay, with Asha, I would use a condom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, let's get back to Robert as he is today. <laughs> today, <laughs> Robert as he is today. He is getting it together. Less drugs. His mind is getting clearer. But like I said in one of my readings that he hasn't even started to fight it. He still hasn't. But he's getting there. He's getting there, right? And he is cutting down on stuff so that he can be ready for the big, big fight. So Robert is, um, you know, is, is beginning to crawl. You know, and the crawling is taking care of himself so that he can think more clearly so that he can fight what is in front of him. So that's the Robert that's in here. The Robert that has the greatest contempt for Lisa Van Allen. He can't stand her. This is the first time I am... Oh, and I'm being told that's enough. This is the first time I am pulling out Robert and he can't stand a female. It's the first time. So once again, Robert is to the left. And as you can see, Robert's life is major. Lisa Van Allen's life is not. <laughs> Unfortunately for Lisa, it's only going to go down. She, If she doesn't make the money that she thinks she should, you know, good enough. Money, if she doesn't make millions in these next two years to, to do with Robert Kelly, as soon as the trial is over, she's going to be forgotten. And so are the, are the other females. And this will be the final time that Robert Kelly is in the public eye that way. But also, I see that the public is going to turn against these females. I don't know why. It's like karma or something. I see a switch and I see the public turning against these females. Like, I, I said that before about Drea. And I say that about her too. Things are going to come out about them that paints them in a very dark light because Robert is going to fight this. But at the moment, Lisa is overpowering Robert. They are not yet at an equal footing. So what she has to say to the world, they are paying more attention to than what he has to say. So right now she is at advantage one and he isn't. Lisa Van Allen, I don't know whether she has a man or not, but they are only two important beings in her life right now. Her children. Looks like she has two kids. Her children are everything to her. And she is a tiger mom. She really is. She's a great mother and she wants for her kids something way better than herself. She has given up on this business of romance and marriage and she is striding in her own strength. And this is a very strong woman. And she is building a very conservative lifestyle for her children and herself. Because she's like so done with this shit. A lot of men have let her down. A lot of sex lies and videotape has taken place. She is like traumatized by her existence. But she keeps pushing. She keeps moving. I have a great deal of admiration for this woman. She keeps pushing. She pushes away the darkness. She keeps going. But she is also a major domo liar. Like I said, you have to sift the truth from the lie because she mixes truth with lies. Okay, so let's go to Robert so that he can, because his hatred of Lisa Van Allen is strong. It is extremely strong. It is um, the strongest I've ever felt from him, ever. In fact, this emotion is stronger than any other emotion I felt from him for a female. Yes, he hates her. She makes him feel small because she continues to attack him and attack him and attack him. And he thinks about what he did for her, what he did for her daughter, and she doesn't even see it. 
he said i should have let her rot in the streets when he did what he did to her i shouldn't have picked her up i shouldn't have paid her medical bills i shouldn't have brought her daughter into my house i shouldn't have done all of that but i was doing it out of ego i did it out of ego because you know she left me to be with him thinking he would be better but i knew otherwise when he brutalized her I said, oh, you can come back because, you know, I was like kind of showing off. But also, you know, I have a soft spot for women I've been with. So I regret that because then she took that and then I went to court, almost went to prison because of her. And it's also because of her that this is happening. I don't care who tells me what. It's because of this bitch right here. I want it dead. No, not at my hand. But... She has diseases that should kill her. And the sooner they do it, those diseases do that, the better. Okay. How did you two meet? I don't know which one to use here. Whether I should use Lisa or Van Allen. Or, I'm going to go with Robert because Robert is not a liar. The usual way. You know, she came because I was a star. She made she made her way to me through the usual channels. And I saw her and I liked her. I loved the conversation. We had sex. Um, the usual way. I met her the same way that I meet every other woman. And I really, really liked her. She, she was fun. She was willing to do things that other females would not do. She, she you know, she was gung-ho. And she totally, totally, you know, um, she, she, I liked her independence. I thought I'd try an independent woman. And she, she's not all that mouthy. She's actually very, um, submissive. She's not mouthy at all. She doesn't talk much. Okay, I have to stop this for two seconds. I'll be back. Okay, my son and my nephews were about to get into some loudness and I had to stop it before it went out of control. Okay, so he is, um, he says, I don't like Lisa and I don't, I don't even want to talk about her because I gave her so much. I took care of her. She was a gutter rat. She was nothing. That class she's pretending to have, I taught it to her. That whole demeanor she's using in her life for the press and everything, I gave it to her. Okay. So what it So is Lisa a liar? I might as well ask him. Yes, she lies all the time. She says she had an abortion by me, but it wasn't my baby. She she went and did her shit with somebody else and then I paid for the abortion. It wasn't my child. Lisa wanted a child with me because I was a paycheck. I was a paycheck and for some reason she couldn't get pregnant by me. She got pregnant by somebody else and I knew it was somebody else because I hadn't been active with her around the time she got pregnant. You know, she was extremely active all by herself. That's one of the things why I, you know, I just, I was cool with her and I just let her be because she didn't really miss me or anything, you know. But she goes around saying she aborted my kid. For God's sake, nobody wants to abort my kid. I have to make them abort. And I, I'm not into abortion, you know. I just don't make kids like most men do. I mean, they would sleep with my friend or whatever, and at once they would, you know, get pregnant. But I, I just don't make kids as easily. That wasn't my kid, but I paid for it because I'm that guy. I paid for it. It wasn't my kid. And then she goes to him and she has his baby for a paycheck too, right? But he doesn't pay. He doesn't give her shit. Instead, he treats her like garbage. Then he tells her to prove that the kid is his. And then, you know, I take her back and I take care of her. And then she does this. You know, I am too kind. When I say I'm too kind, the world laughs at me. When I say these things about myself, everybody looks at me as if I'm telling a lie. But it happens to be the truth. I fathered her kid when her own father wouldn't even acknowledge that kid. I put a roof over that kid's head. I took care of that kid. Now she's saying that she was afraid I would sexually abuse uh, 
her kid. When have I ever sexually abused my kids? I ain't that man. There are other people's kids to do that too. Okay. So, Lisa, is it true that you jumped from Robert to his friend? Yes. He offered me a better deal. We'd been together for a while. I thought he was a really good fit for me because on the outside, he looked nicer than Robert. I mean, Robert beats. Robert does some shit. When he beats you, you almost think you're going to die. You know, the sex part of it didn't bother me. It was the beatings. And so I thought this one was better. It turned out he was even worse. He would chain you to a bed and beat you. And then you, you didn't even get any medical help or anything. And, you know, I thought he was better, but he, but he was worse. And I knew when I was with him that I was going to die. But the thing is, I was trapped. I was stuck in that situation. I couldn't just leave. Unlike with Robert, where I could just leave, I couldn't just leave with this one. This one, no. He has no open door and closed door policy. I couldn't just leave. I needed another powerful person to get me from under him. And so Robert did that for me. Robert did that he got me from under him and i went back to robert but to be honest with you my feelings for robert had died my love for robert had died it died a very very long time ago all i had left was contempt for myself so i knew even when i moved in with robert that i was gonna leave because that was my plan i knew i was gonna leave so Today, what do we know about Robert? What do you know about Robert? Robert doesn't tell the truth about anything. When we were in the house, he told us seven different stories about Aliyah. They were all different. So whenever I, 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 I talk, I, I, I'm like a reporter that way. I attribute it to say he said he said because i know one of those other females is going to come out and say something else because we don't have the same story robert doesn't trust anyone but himself robert had sex with 13 year old girls and paid them off he paid them that i saw myself they were paid and all these kids they were brought in by their parents and they were paid you know there are things that i will never talk about when it comes to robert yeah she's actually giving me a hard time even now she's closing it in because he thinks i'm completely disloyal but i'm really not i had to make a living and i had to share some things and I, 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 I stayed within myself and my own experiences and I tried to get away from what I saw. But if I had really shared everything about Robert, how I eventually got so disgusted with him that I was willing to testify against him, if I had shared all those things, Robert would have been in prison a long, long time ago. But he was enabled, you know. He was enabled by his people. He didn't go looking for these girls. Like me, they came to him. She just asked me a question. Why don't you find him attractive? <laughs> Her soul just asked me that question. Why? I just don't. She says, I'm unique. She says, oh, you are unique. I, I just don't. I just don't. Maybe he ain't fat enough. <laughs> I don't. I just don't. Okay. Um, what does the future have in store for you, Lisa? Nothing. That's the problem. At this stage, I can't work. My child support is sketchy. So really, talking about Robert is my job. And it's paying me right now, but not that much. And I was hoping to get movie rights and so on, and I seem to have to be going in that direction but my instinct tells me 
and that I'm, it may not succeed. The deal isn't quite clinched. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, girl, I know. What she's basically saying is that, you know, everything is up in the air until it becomes reality, especially in the creative industry. That's how we live our lives, up in the air, then it becomes reality. Okay. What about you, Robert? What does the future hold in store for you with Lisa Van Allen? I never want to see her again. Never. We're done. What say you, Lisa? Agreed. The things that I witnessed in Robert's life were so gross, so disgusting. I can't live like that. I can never live like that. But you know what? I hug my kids closer today because of what I went through. What are you saying, Lisa? That is a lie about Robert in what you have been talking about. I haven't lied. I've just left some things out. That's what people should understand. I've just left. What I have put on the table is 5%. I have left 95% out. Do you agree, Robert? Yes. She has. But for how long? She's hungry. She's starving real bad. For how long is she going to keep her mouth shut? I don't trust her. What say you, Lisa? She says she doesn't need to be trusted. She's also protecting herself in keeping some of those things out. Because some of those things that she witnessed, they are criminal offenses. And she could be roped into this whole thing. And she's not going to do that to herself. And on that note, I am going to leave the reading of um, Lisa Van Allen and, and Robert Kelly. They are in complete and total agreement about things. And I'm actually looking to see if there's anything more interesting. Do you see? Look. Oh, I knew there was something interesting about Robert's spread. Please look at his spread. There are six women behind him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like I said, these one, two, three women are going to be kicked out of his life. The three that are going to be left are Azriel, Baby Mama, and Jocelyn. And this is him. These three are going so fascinating and if i take this spread right here there were three women who were coming into his life and they are not going to come anymore maybe he was getting ready to move them in one of his houses or something like that and then also these three shells here also represent the three women he's working with basically robert kelly's board is full of females right now wow okay i'm gonna play my music and um 